Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA, standing alongside Paul Lawrence. Paul, I don't think I've ever seen another man give another amateur as big a beating as that was. He, how did you not put, how, I don't want to say how did you not put him away, how is he still standing? I don't know, he's as tough as nails, that lad. Like Until the referee put, stopped it. Exactly, him. but he took a lot of lefts. Like, most of the times I hit lads with one or two lefts that are on the, on the floor, but he was just kept getting back up. Like he, he's, he's tough. I knew he was tough. And it, that's why I wanted to fight him. I knew he was a tough lad. It's fights like that I need. So. Solid ground game as well. He was A lot of the times when you dropped him, he seemed comfortable with that, uh, going straight to deep half. Were you wary of any submission attempts he was trying to go under for the knee or the leg? Oh, I was very wary of that. I didn't want to be on the ground with him at all, to be honest. He was just in a second he could have get something there. So I didn't want to take that chance. Why take a chance like that when I could keep standing and outbox him on the feet? That's what I wanted to do and that's what I done. Well, just as, as night follows day and there's two days of the weekend, you usually see Keith McCabe at an Irish MMA show. Exactly. And every usually show I've been at, he's fighting anyway. Every show. He's, every week he'd fight, I'd say. Just give him the chance. And I was going to say that you also usually see Rush Fight Academy having good good performances on the amateur circuit. You're a guy who's been around a while, a lot of the guys are teetering at the edge of pros. Something in your head? Well, that's up to Paul Cowser. Whenever he decides I'm ready, I have no problem. He says next week, I'll go with that. Like, But at the end of the day, that's up to him. I have one question to ask that I've won I meant to ask Tommy the last time I was talking to him. You and him give me the impression that you absolutely kill each other in the gym. We do, yeah. <laughs> we all do. Me and Paul, every week, we punch the heads of each other. And same with Tommy, we just, like, we fight every week. Every week we have fights in the club, it's, it's like a fight, so this is nothing uh, different. But can you emphasise how important that is for the morale, for sticking together as a team? Like, Absolutely. there's an expression that when we win, we all, when one person wins, we all win. Yeah, that's the way it is, we, like, we're, all, we're a good team, like, we all, we all are, are there to support each other, so we all want to see each other winning and doing well. And uh, rather unsurprisingly tonight in some of the interviews we've had fighters actually mention names of opponents who they'd like to fight next. So uh, if you want to finish it off, anyone in mind you'd like to fight? I'm not going to mention anyone because I fight everybody. There's no one in particular, anyone. Even the lads that have lost out, I'd like to fight out anyone. It doesn't matter, whoever's in my way, I'll fight them. Exactly. Whoever, it's no point getting easy fights, I want tough fights. Lads that I think that can beat me, but I know there's a chance that I can beat them too. They're the lads I want to fight. Excellent, Paul. We appreciate the time. Looked very good tonight. Looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you.